The total share of CO2 emissions coming from aviation today is about 2.7%. By 2050, it's projected to be closer to 22%. The only way to decouple emissions from air travel is to create zero emissions technology. One third of the emissions from aviation are from short haul hops. And we think that just has this important effect because that will kick off this journey. At a hard aerospace, we're building an electric plane. Our goal is that by 2050, we will have created technology to completely decarbonize short haul air travel. I grew up down the road. This airport was part of my childhood. I got really into paper airplanes when I was around eight or nine. My dad would bring home A4 paper from his office. I was fascinated by it because it was like something you can do with a paper and depending on how you're doing it, you can get vastly different results. Seeing how something behaves, making incremental improvements to design, which is how we're building this company as well. I was doing my PhD in the aerospace industry, working on jet engines, this massively complex thing. And then you had this thing with drones where you had electric motors. They're so simple. They have one moving part. So I became very obsessed about that. Then I got a scholarship to go like as a researcher to MIT. I took some courses at Harvard and I went to Utah State for my master's. Well, I was sure of two things. One is that electrification was the future of aviation and that I wanted to be a part of it. And the other thing was that it was not gonna happen in Sweden. So I ended up going to Silicon Valley, but then something happened and in 2018, Norway announced that they want all their short haul flights to be 100% electric by 2040. And that sort of turned everything a little bit on its head. Our plane, if you're flying less than 200 kilometers, is completely zero emissions. The exciting thing about building this plane is that batteries last for about 2,000 cycles. And then you have the opportunity to put in a new chemistry. So the plane would actually be an appreciating asset. Clara and I, we got accepted to Y Combinator in Silicon Valley. And then we were like, okay, we're, we're gonna go to Silicon Valley. You know, either we do this together or we're not gonna see much of each other for the next few months. And that was like the best decision that we ever made. It turns out that actually how we sort of complement each other in our relationship kind of works professionally as well. She's been the one that's making the websites, the logistics, hiring, setting up the financial system. She's the chief business officer of the company. The first thing we wanted to prove was to see how big we can make electric motors. Can we make them the size of a turboprop jet engine, which is essentially what's on the planes. But the real innovation in this sector is like not just showing that it's possible, but getting it done. Certification, regulation, policy, and supply chain management. Essentially, we want to build an aircraft that's green. But the exciting thing that this technology enables is to make planes more affordable, especially making small planes more affordable. Jet engines are super expensive to make, and they are also expensive to maintain, to service. They cost the same if they have a plane that's flying 70 passengers as they have for a plane that's flying 20 passengers. That's pushed the market so that we don't have many small planes and that we don't fly many short routes. People will be able to fly on our aircraft starting in 2028. The place we're building here has the capacity to build 120 aircraft per year, but we want to use that as a blueprint for setting up factories all over the world. Air travel has a profound effect on people. You can really point to most places on a map and you can get there in 24 hours. That's an amazing invention. And it's done something for us as a planet where we can get that exchange of ideas, of perspective, we can learn about each other's cultures. That's such an important thing. You never see your hometown until you leave it. And I'm the guy who's stuck at my hometown. I built an aerospace industry like three minutes from my parents' house. But I had to go to this side of the world to do it. My name is Anders Forslund. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Hard Aerospace.